So we're given f of x is equal to 2x minus 1 over x over 2x plus 1 over x. We want to find the first and second derivatives. But before we do that, I'm going to rewrite this function. So I just changed 1 over x to x to the negative first power. Exactly the same thing. It's fine. All right, so now we're going to take the first derivative. And using the quotient rule, it's the bottom times the derivative of the top minus the top times the derivative of the bottom over the bottom squared. So that'll look like this. 2x plus x to the negative 1 times 2x minus x to the negative 1 prime minus 2x minus x to the negative 1 times 2x plus x to the negative 1 prime over 2x plus x to the negative 1 squared. Okay, so this is equal to the derivative of 2x minus x to the negative 1. So first we have 2x plus x to the negative 1. The derivative of 2x is 2. Actually, I'm going to write this a little bit lower so it doesn't get confused with the fraction above. All right, so the derivative of 2x is 2. The derivative of x to the negative 1 is negative x to the negative 2. We have this minus sign here, so we have plus x to the negative 2 minus 2x minus x to the negative 1 times the derivative of 2x is still 2. And this time the derivative is negative x to the negative 2. And we have a plus sign, so this is minus here. So 2 minus x to the negative 2. And all of that over 2x plus x to the negative 1 squared. All right. So now let's multiply this stuff out. So we have 2x times 2. Oh, can I do this? 2x times 2, we have 4x. Oh, this line's got to be longer. There we go. Okay, so 2x times 2 is 4x. 2x times x to the negative 2 is 2 over x, so plus 2x to the negative 1. Here we have plus 2 times x to the negative 1. And then plus x to the negative 3. That's this part here. Minus 2x times 2 is 4x. 2x times negative x to the negative 2 is minus 2x to the negative 1. Then negative x to the negative 1 times 2 minus 2x to the negative 1. And then minus x to the negative 1 times negative x to the negative 2 is plus x to the negative 3. All right, so now, oh, sorry, over 2x plus x to the negative 1 squared. All right, so now we can cancel things out because of this negative sign. So if we distribute that out, this becomes negative 4x. This is plus 2x to the negative 1, plus 2x to the negative 1, and then minus x to the negative 3. So we can see 4x cancels with 4x. And plus x to the minus 3 cancels with minus x to the minus 3. So now what we're left with is 2, 4, 6, 8, x to the negative 1 over 2x plus x to the negative 1 squared, which can be rewritten as 8 over x times 2x plus 1 over x squared, okay? Okay. So this is the nice, pretty version of our first derivative. If you want to take the second derivative, we can use the power rule by pulling these above and making them into the numerator part. So this becomes x to the negative 1. And this whole 
um, this whole expression right here, the 2x plus 1 over x squared, becomes 2x plus 1 over x to the negative 2. Uh, we could also do this and use the quotient rule as is, and then we would have this, and the derivative of 8 would be 0, and then we'd still have to do the product rule with this part here. So instead, I'm going to actually use the quotient rule in this form here with 8x to the negative 1 over 2x plus x to the negative 1 quantity squared to take the second derivative. So I'm going to do that up here. So setting it up as we did before, we have the bottom times the derivative of the top minus the, derivative, minus the top times the derivative of the bottom times the bottom squared. So that's like this, the bottom. 2x plus x to the negative 1 squared times the derivative of 8x to the negative 1 is negative 8x to the negative 2 minus 8x to the negative 1 times the derivative of the bottom, 2 times 2x plus x to the negative 1 times the derivative of 2x is 2 minus x to the negative 2 over 2x plus x to the negative 1 squared squared, so to the fourth. So before we go further, we can actually pull out a 2x plus x to the negative 1 from the numerator and the denominator. So I'm just going to cross this out, cross this out, and then make this a 3. Okay. So now we move on. We have, multiplying this out, we have negative 16x the negative 1 because the x and the x and the negative 2 cancel stuff out. Uh, minus 8x to the negative 3. So it's this first part. Minus, if we do 8 times 2, we have 16x to the negative 1 times 2 is 32x to the negative 1 minus. 16x to the negative 1 times minus x to the negative 3 is minus 16x to the negative 3, okay, over 2x plus x to the negative 1 cubed Um, and then we can cancel things out. The negative 16x to the minus 1 minus negative 16x to the minus 1. Uh, oops, my mistake. We have, let's multiply this out first. And we end up with, yes, uh, doing this first we have negative... 48x to the negative 1 minus, oh, wait, sorry, I'll skip this step for you. Negative 16x to the negative 1 minus 8x to the negative 3 minus 32x to the negative 1 plus 16x to the negative 3. So now if we combine terms, We have negative 48x to the negative 1, um, combining the negative 16x to the negative 1 and the negative 32. And then adding this, we have plus 8x to the negative 3 over 2x plus x to the negative 1 cubed. And if we pull out Nope, I don't need to. So we have this. It's our second derivative. Yep. 
we could rewrite it pulling out an x to the negative two, an x to the negative three. So you'd have write it as a minus 48x squared times 2x plus 1 over x cubed times x cubed. Yep. So that's the answer.